What's up y'all, it's your girl M. Faulkner here and welcome back to my studio, which is probably one of the happiest days of my career because if you read the title, I just got my own large format printer and this is something I have been dreaming about ever since I decided to be a full-time artist five years ago. I've been working towards this moment for years. I've always wanted my own printer and the day is finally here y'all it's finally here yeah like i mentioned as a full-time artist you know mainly selling art prints finding a printer to work with that can make prints how you want can be really challenging and i've moved several times over the past five years and every time i moved i've had to try and find another printer in my area that could work for me you know i had to make sure that the price and the quality was right so that I could sell my prints. So I've had a printer that I've been working with for a couple years now and you know, their price and quality was great. But <laughs> the only downside was that the lead time was so long, meaning the time from when I actually ordered the prints from them to when they made the prints and they were ready for me to pick up. At times it could take up to two weeks and that is just, crazy because my customers are out here waiting three plus weeks for their prints and it's totally out of my control and I was just you know stressed out about that situation but there was nothing I could really do about it because they were the only printer in my area that had you know quality prints at a decent price so I've wanted this printer for a long time so that I could have control over my production process and so I could get my prints out faster get my prints made faster you know whenever I make a painting I want to sell the prints like two days later, you know, but with the current system I had I would have to wait like weeks to get samples in before I could even launch that print, but Not anymore <laughs> Those days are gone. <laughs> so yeah, super excited to start this new journey of my art business and this is all made possible to all my supporters, all my customers, anyone who has bought anything from me, even just watched my videos, supported me on Instagram, you have contributed to me being able to afford this printer and I just love you and thank you for that. It means the world to me. So let's get into the nitty gritty of this beautiful printer that I've got behind me right here on the floor. So the name of the printer, it is a Canon Image ProGraph Pro 2100 24 inch printer. Don't worry, I will leave all the details in the description below. And I bought this printer from Staples in Canada. If you're Canadian, you know, I don't know if Staples is in the US, maybe, I don't know. But I bought it from Staples and the grand total price was $4,519.99 Canadian. So that was the price tag. It's not cheap. Clearly, that's why it took me so long to afford it, but I know it's gonna be worth the investment, so I'm happy with the purchase. So yeah, the printer got delivered a couple days ago. They had to like bring it off of this huge truck with like a lift and everything, and literally the delivery guy, when he like wheeled the printer up my driveway, the way he was looking at me was like, girl, I don't know how you're gonna get this printer in the house because it came in like this huge box. The box could not fit in the house. Literally, we had to unbox the printer outside in my driveway and bring in all the pieces one by one. And like the main piece, the main printer right here, it literally took all of my family members collectively to lift it and carry it up here in the house. And it barely fit through the door. Like literally, if it was any bigger, I don't know what I would have done. It literally would not have fit. So when they say large format, they are not kidding. And I actually think this is like the smallest version of this printer that they have, but perfect size for me. So now that I've got the printer in the house, I've basically dedicated the next few days of my life to putting the printer together, learning how to use it, and getting myself ready to start producing my own prints. So I'm excited to take you guys along on this journey, setting up my printer. If any of you guys are artists out there and you hope to buy your own printer one day, I hope this could provide, you know, some tips, some insights, some knowledge for you guys. So I'm just gonna show you the whole process and let's have fun. I'm actually so excited to do this. It's a dream come true, it's a dream come true. 
So yeah, let's do this. All right, y'all, so this is everything that the printer came with. I honestly don't know what half of these things are. Like, I recognize some stuff, like the ink. These are the legs, but like, I don't know what this is. So basically, I think the first logical step is to read this hefty setup manual. Um, obviously, I need to know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take however long it's gonna take to kind of read through this so I know what to do first to start setting this whole thing up. So as per the directions, the first thing we're gonna do is put together the stand. So let's do that. So basically now, I've got to get the printer on the stand. So, how are we going to do this? <laughs> yeah guys, I think I'm going to have to ask my family to come help me again lift this printer because there's no way I could lift this thing by myself. It weighs hundreds of pounds. So, BRB while I get some help. So So it is day two of setting up the printer. I'm here in the production space. So far, we've just got the printer on the stand. That actually took quite some effort, but today I'm going to attach all the other stuff <laughs> that comes with it and hopefully start like installing the software and learning how to like run the printing programs. Well, We'll see how far we get, but for now, let's start on attaching the basket. The stand is all put together with the basket and everything. And now it's time to actually turn this thing on. So the next step here, like it says, turning on the printer. So obviously that's gonna be very exciting. So I'm gonna finally open this thing up, remove all this tape and see what the inside of this thing looks like. And we could get the power on and really start using this thing. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's do this. It's 
first printer noises. I wonder what's going on. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's select the language. And it's a touch screen, you guys, so that makes life super simple. English. Time zone. I don't know. I have to figure out which one to pick. Um, Okay, now it's telling us to install the ink. So let's get the ink tanks. So this is all the ink in here. Have all these individual tanks. These ink tanks are huge, y'all. Like, this is a big ass ink tank. Okay, so let's put the ink in the printer. Look how many ink cartridges there are, you guys. So many. Okay, let's take the first one. Gotta shake it up. step is to test out the print head or to align the print head I think so we're gonna load in this paper that it came with let me show you guys yeah so the printer came with these pretty big sheets of paper so the next step is to load in the paper and align the print head I believe uh yeah I'm just following the instructions here so let's do it <laughs> One hour later. All right, you guys, so this is the paper that came out. It's got all these colors and stuff on it. I guess that means that it's configured, but I guess this is technically my first print. Wow. you guys so it is the next day and it is the moment we have all been waiting for now that my printer is more or less all set up calibrated all that good stuff i went and i downloaded all of like the printer software and stuff like that and i've kind of been learning how to use it and everything so now i feel like i'm ready to actually print my artwork so I got this paper here that I bought the other day from like this paper company in Toronto. So this is the paper I'm going to be using. It's a roll of paper. It's 24 inches, exactly what the printer fits. So I actually don't know how to put the paper on the roll and in the printer yet. So we're gonna figure that out, load the paper and print something. So hopefully it turns out right. Let's do this.
This is the printer or the printing software. And as you can see, I'm gonna try and print this Michelle Obama print right now. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I tried to set the settings according to the instructions, but we'll see. Do you guys hear that? It's starting. There she goes. It's printing, y'all. So I guess we accomplished our mission. I got my first print right here. I'm not gonna bother cutting it. I'm just admiring it for now. It literally took a few days to get to this point, but I'm so happy with where I'm at right now. You know, the printer works. <laughs> better, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The print quality is really good, like top notch. I mean, obviously it's a hefty ass machine. It better be good. But yeah, I have no complaints with the print quality. But the only thing is I'm not a fan of the actual paper that I got. So this paper I got isn't as thick and high quality as the paper I was using with my old printer. You know, I just had to order this print blind. I couldn't really test any papers. Luckily, it wasn't too expensive, so it wasn't a huge loss, but but I want to find a better paper to print on. Obviously, I don't want to decrease the quality of my product. What would be the point of that? So that's going to be my next step towards moving all my production in-house. You know, this is all trial and error. It's the cost of doing business. Sometimes things don't go as perfectly as you want them to, but it's okay. I'm totally cool with it. So I gotta do some more research, find some more paper suppliers, ask some more questions, see if I can find a paper that works for me, and then test it out, calibrate colors, all that fun stuff. All of which I think is too much for this video. I feel like this video is already pretty long and we mainly accomplished what we came here to do, which is set up this printer and make our first print. So I've got all the groundwork down packed so i'm happy about that so i guess i'll end this video right here and i thank all of you guys for watching if you've made it this far i appreciate you i really do so definitely stay tuned for the next video where i try and get better paper and actually get the print quality that i want before i start selling my own in-house prints that's gonna be a fun process so subscribe if you haven't, if you don't want to miss that video, and I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.